Hi, what is the meaning of foreign currency valuation? And what is the difference between realized and unrealized foreign currency differences? This is what I'm going to explain in the video today. I'm also going to demonstrate how the foreign currency differences are processed in SAP S4HANA. Any company is requested to report financial statements in the local tax currency of the country. So for example, if we have a company in Egypt, then we have to report our financial statements in Egyptian pounds. Now let's assume that we have suppliers in US. So whenever we buy products from these suppliers, we have to record the invoices and the payments in USD. But also at the same time, we have to rec record all these transactions in Egyptian pounds. And this is what we call foreign currency valuation, that we have to evaluate any foreign currency transactions to our local currency. Now let's assume that today is the 15th of January and I'm going to buy some products from my US supplier for 1000 USD. Now just for example, let's assume that 1 USD is equal to 10 Egyptian pounds. So now when I record the invoice today on 15th of January, I'm going to record an invoice for 1000 USD and 10,000 Egyptian pounds. Now let's assume that according to my agreement with the supplier, I'm going to pay him after one month. So on the 15th of February, I'm going to pay the supplier. Now let's assume that on the 15th of February, the foreign currency rate was actually one USD equal 15 Egyptian pounds. So now instead of paying 10,000 Egyptian pounds to the supplier, I actually have to pay 15,000 Egyptian pounds. So I have lost 5,000 Egyptian pounds. And this is what we call a realized foreign currency difference. Why is it realized? Because it is an actual loss. We have actually paid our supplier 5,000 Egyptian pounds more. Now you know the meaning of foreign currency valuation and realized foreign currency differences. Now let's go back to the time of the invoice on the 15th of January. And as we agreed, the foreign currency rate on the 15th of January was one USD equal 10 Egyptian pounds. At the end of January, as a company, we are requested to report our financial statements. And according to some financial standards, we have to report our foreign accounts as if we are going to pay everything today. So let's assume that at the end of January, the exchange rate was one USD equals 12 Egyptian pounds. So in my financial statements, I'm going to report accounts payable for 1000 USD and 12,000 Egyptian pounds. So I'm going to report my accounts payable for 12,000, not 10,000. So the 2,000 difference is an unrealized foreign currency differences. Why is it unrealized? Because we have not paid the supplier yet. So we have not actually lost any money yet, but it is an expected loss. So now you know the meaning of foreign currency valuation, realized foreign currency differences, and also unrealized foreign currency differences. Now I'm also going to demonstrate the process in SAP S4HANA and this will help you understand more about this topic. Now I'm going to start by posting a supplier invoice in foreign currency. Then I'm going to post a payment to this invoice so we can see the foreign currency differences. So to post a supplier invoice, I'm going to use the transaction FB60. And I'm working with company code 1710. This company code is defined in US, so the local currency for this one is USD. But in my example, I'm, I want to post a, a foreign supplier invoice, so I'm going to post uh, the supplier invoice in Euros, EUR. So this is going to be the same example as the one I presented, but instead of Egyptian pounds and USD, this will be USD and Euros. So the vendor I'm going to use as this one, the invoice date is the 15th of January. Posting date is also 15th of January. Reference is Forex. The amount is 1000 euros. And then hit enter. Okay. Okay. Now to define the exchange rate for this invoice, I'm going to go to the local currency tab here. So this is showing the default exchange rate defined in the system between euros and USD, and this one is 12. I'm going to change it to match our example. So this one will be 10, which means that one euro is equal to 10 USDs. 
Now, this is uh, a warning. SAP is giving me a warning that the exchange rate is being changed and it shouldn't be. But this is only a warning. So I'm going to hit enter to pass. Enter. It's giving me another warning that I'm changing the exchange rate. So enter again. So now 1000 euros is equal to 10,000 USD because the exchange rate is 10. Now I'm going to enter the expense account. The amount is also 1000. And we also need a cost center. So this is the cost center. Enter. So this is the financial entry I'm going to post. Uh, I'm going to simulate it so we can see the entry. So simulate. So I'm posting a credit of 1000 euros or 10,000 USD to the supplier. And I'm also posting a debit of 1000 euro or 10,000 USD to the expense account. This is the invoice I'm going to post. So click here post and done now I'm going to post a payment to this invoice and I'm going to use a different exchange exchange rate as we agreed so the exchange rate I'm going to use for the payment is 15 so to post a supplier payment I'm going to go back to transaction f-53 enter so the payment is going to be in euro EUR And the exchange rate is going to be 15. And the document date will be the 15th of February. Posting date is also 15th of February. And the account, the bank account I'm going to use is this one. I'm going to pay 1000 euros. Value date is also this, uh, the 15th of February. And this is the supplier account I'm going to pay this money to. So this is the account I'm paying. And I'm going to hit enter. Okay, this is another warning that we are changing the exchange rate, so okay. Now I'm looking for the supplier invoice that I just posted, so this is the one, 15th of January, 37. So double click here on the amount, so I'm going to pay 1000. Now I'm going to simulate the financial entry so we can see the financial impact, so document, and I'm going to simulate general ledger view. So this is the financial entry I'm going to post. Now, as you see, I'm going to post a credit to my bank account because I'm paying the supplier. So this is a credit to the bank account of 1000 euros, which is equal to 15,000 USD because the exchange rate is 15. But at the same time, I'm going to debit the supplier account, the payables domestic or payables foreign for 1000 euros which is equal only to 10,000 USD because when we posted the invoice, we posted an invoice for 1,000, which was equal to 10,000 Egyptian pounds. So the difference of 5,000 is posted to the loss exchange rate differences account. As you see, the amount in foreign currency is zero because this is not a foreign currency impact, but it is equal to 5,000 uh, of our local currency, which is USD. And this account is defined in the configuration. We link it to the uh, reconciliation accounts. So this is the realized foreign currency exchange differences. Now I'm going to demonstrate the unrealized foreign currency. Now, before we go to unrealized, as you see, this one is automatically, it happens automatically. So there's nothing that you have to do. SAP recognizes the exchange rate when you post the invoice, and it also recognizes the exchange rate when you do the payment and it, it automatically posts the foreign currency gain or loss based on the exchange rates. Uh, now I'm going to move to the unrealized foreign currency differences. So I'm going to go back to the home screen slash n. Now the unrealized foreign currency difference, as I explained, is something that you do at the end of the month only. So there is a program that you have to run at the end of every month. So the program can be found under accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, periodic processing, closing, valuate, FAGL underscore FSV. So this one is different from the transaction that we used to use in SAP ECC, but it is the same concept. So I'm going to double click to open the transaction. Now the company code I'm running this transaction for is 1710. The valuation gate date is going to be end of January. The valuation area is US. This is a configuration object that has some configuration impact. I'm not going to go into much details about this now. 
and I'm going to run the uh, this as a test run. So you can either do a test run, a simulation, or an update run. Test run means that you are only going to preview the results without actually doing any financial postings to the system. An update run is the actual thing that's going to post the entries. So now I'm going to start with a test run. And now for the valuation options, you can either evaluate the open item subledger, which are the vendors and customers, or you can you can also evaluate open item GL accounts, which are any GL accounts that do we do clearing on on, and this these GL accounts are in foreign currency. So this can be anything depending on your your business scenario and the business of your company. So here you can choose any GL account that is open item managed, and GL account balances is any GL account in foreign currency. That is only that we only deal with as a balance. For example, the bank accounts. So I'm going to go to open item subledger, and you can either evaluate vendors or customers or both. I'm only going to select vendors. Then you can either evaluate all the vendors in the system, or you can evaluate some specific vendors. So I'm going to only use the one that we are working with, which is this one. Hit enter. And I'm going to execute. So now SAP is saying that for the account type K, K means vendors. The GL account, this is the reconciliation GL account. This is the customer, the, this is the vendor, the vendor number, which is uh, the one ending with two. And this is the invoice number. And this is the amount in foreign currency, 1,000 euros. This amount is equal to 10,000 USD at the time of posting because the exchange rate that was used was 10. But the revaluation exchange rate, which is the exchange rate today at the end of the month, is 12. So SAP is going to post a difference of 2,000 to our accounts payables. Now, if you want to display the financial entries, I'm going to go back and do an update run so we can display the entries. So update run, execute, messages, so these are the account, these are the document number that were posted now. So I'm going to display this one. So as you see, there are two documents posted. I'm going to show you the difference between the two of them. So this is the first one. Now to display a financial entry, you can go to transaction FB03. So I'm going to display this one and the company code 1710, the fiscal year is 2018, and enter. So this is the entry we just posted. As you see, it is showing that we have a loss of currency valuation of 2000, because instead of paying 10,000, now we have to pay 12. So we have a loss of 2000, and it posted a credit 2000 to a payables adjustment account. Now let me talk more about this one. Uh, so when we do this uh, unrealized foreign currency differences, we are seeing that we expect that our payables are going to increase by 2000. But this entry cannot be posted to the original reconciliation accounts because the original payables reconciliation account is linked to the suppliers and we can never touch it unless we are doing a real transaction to the supplier, such as an invoice or a payment or a credit memo. But this is only an adjustment entry that we do for our own company for the period end closing adjustments. So it should never touch the original reconciliation account and it shouldn't be seen on the level of the supplier. So now this is posted to a payables adjustment account that is going to be recorded in my financial statements in the balance sheet in the same area as the, uh, the original reconciliation account. But this is a different one. This is actually an interview question. This is a very important one. Many people actually get this part wrong. The unrealized foreign currency differences are not posted to the original reconciliation accounts. Okay, so this is the financial entry for unrealized foreign dif uh, currency differences. Now, the other entry that was posted, as you see, this one is posted at the end of January, so 31st of January 2018. But as we said, this is not a real transaction. It is only an adjustment transaction. So this transaction is going to be reversed in the first day of the next month. So the other entry that was posted by SAP, this one, is the same entry but reversed. 
So I'm going to display it. This one ends with 74. So I'm going to go back and change this one to 74. Enter. So as you see, it is the same exact entry, but the signs are different. So instead, the actually uh, the loss is credit and the payables is debit. So now the net impact on our financial statements is zero, but when you report your financial statements for January, it's going to show the correct updated valuation, and then it's not going to impact any other month after this. So this is it for the foreign currency valuation, the realized and unrealized foreign currency differences. Hope this was easy to everyone to understand because this is a little difficult. Uh, so if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me, leave me a comment or send me a message. I will reply to you. And also, please don't forget to share the video with your friends and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you and I will see you again next week. Thank you for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, follow me on LinkedIn and also help me by sharing the videos so other people can find them.